name is Beth Laws and I'm a Veronis Technical Consultant here at Summerford Associates. I'm going to be going through and showing a demonstration of the Veronis Data Security Platform um, to give an insight on how easy it is to use and to show off some of the capabilities of the platform. So if we start by taking a look at the Veronis web interface, which is what I've got up here, um, you can see we've got a number of different dashboards. So these dashboards, they're designed to indicate and point out any key risks in your environment. So we've got multiple different dashboards we're able to click on. Um, you can see we've got the dashboard which displays the summary of alerts. Um, we've got a specific GDPR dashboard and we've even got a specific SharePoint Online dashboard as well. And all of these show you um, more specific statistics tailored to those areas. So if we take a further look at the file servers dashboard, for example, you can see we've got multiple different panels displayed telling us a bit more information about our file servers. So you can see here we've got a um, percentage of sensitive folders with open access. Um, we've got some more information about sensitive files or um, number of sensitive folders as well. So for each of these, we're able to take a, um, take a look at the detail behind these statistics. So if we just click on the meatball menu here. So for this widget, the sensitive folders with open access, we're able to click on this here to view that list of folders. So it's telling us, um, you know, the exact path of these folders. We know exactly which folders um, we're talking about here. And if you even look at this column, the classification results column, you can see it's telling us what type of data um, lives within that folder. So you can see here, we've got some MasterCard data being identified, um, or American Express data being identified in here. Or you can see down here, we've even had GDPR information identified. So this is because one of the things Veronis does is it's able to classify the content of your data. So it's able to tell you exactly where sensitive information lives um, and tell you what type of sensitive information um, exists within these folders. So moving on now, just to take a look at the DAT Advantage interface. So this is really the main interface of Veronis. So here we have a really clear bi-directional view to show our directory structure mapped against our users and groups. So this means you can really easily see who has access um, to what data um, and again it's going to show you what type of sensitive information resides within these folders. So if we click on the finance folder here, what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to see in the left hand pane the users and groups who have access to that folder. Um, so as expected we've got you know a group finance security group here um, and we can actually expand this group too. So this is going to allow us to see who are the users within this group finance security group. So search on individual users as well. So if you're interested in looking for, um, you know, which folders an employee has access to, it's possible to search on their name in the box here. So if I just search um, Alan Kari, for example, and then we're able to click on his name. Um, and what we can see here is we can see the folders in green are what Alan Carey has permissions to access. So for all your folders in your directory structure, you can see we've got additional information on the right here. Um, so looking at the legal folder as a different example, you can see um, this one has got a really high number of total hits. So that's a really high number of um, sensitive information within that folder. So if we just look at this column here as well, as I did mention, we're able to see the type of um, sensitive information within that folder. So we've got PII in the legal folder here. So we can see we have the users and groups on the left here for the legal folder. Um, so we've actually got the everyone group, which has got full permissions to access that folder. So the everyone group um, is a security group which contains everyone in the organization. So 
We really need to be looking at um, remediating the permissions here as we don't want everyone to be having access to such a high amount of um, sensitive data. So one of the clever things we can go ahead and do with Bronis is actually simulate making permission changes in your environment. Um, so what this means is before we go ahead and make any changes live in the actual environment, we're able to test whether anyone who uses this folder um, we're going to test whether they're, they're going to lose their access if we look at removing these permissions. So in this case, if I just open up um, this pane on the right here, if we look at removing the everyone group, so remove permissions here, as you can see, it's um, modelled making this change in Veronis. So we want to check to um, make sure if anyone... Um, does use this, these permissions to gain access to the information, um, you know, we want to check that we're not going to be removing their permissions. So we can calculate access errors here. So let me just click on here. So we'll just wait for this to, um, to have a think and go through. So if I just click on expected access errors here, and let me just reload that. So you can see it's brought up a list of names on the left here of um, employees who do use the Everon group to access this folder. This list of names is really handy because what it's going to help us to do is it's going to help us to prevent um, lots of IT access requests, tickets being raised, um, you know, if these people aren't able to access this folder. Because also with Bronis, we can um, simulate adding people to have permissions to use this folder. So. I'm going to do this for the legal group, so if I click here and I go edit permissions. So as this is the legal folder, um, you would expect that there'd be a legal security group which would probably need access, so you know this has probably got the um, legal employees in there. So if we just add this in, and I'm going to give them um, modifier rights. So let's just press OK here. So in the right hand pane, you can see the um, legal group has been added here. Just point out as well, um, Veronis has a tool called the Automation Engine, which when used basically does this whole process of um, calculating the access errors and remediations of the permissions on global access groups. Um, it does this whole process automatically. So if you're happy with the, um, with the changes you have modelled and made within Veronis, um, what you can go ahead is and do, sorry, is actually make this change for real in your environment by clicking the commit options. So you've got them those here and basically you're able to click this option through Veronis to actually make um, this change for real. So a couple of other features in um, that advantage we have are um, the reports. So Veronis has a large number of um, predefined reports. So you can see, um, you know, we've got different categories in the pane here on the left. Um, so there's various different um, sorts of information you can get from these reports. So um, you're able to generate reports about permissions and um, things like access logs or sensitive data is another example. Um, and the list does really go on. So these are all available to be um, generated on a scheduled basis and they can be even emailed out to the appropriate recipients too. And just whilst we're still on Data Advantage, there's another tool I want to quickly point out to you. Um, so this is the data transport engine. So this allows you to set up rules to move data from one place to another. Um, let's just take a moment to load, there we go. Um, so what you're able to do here is you're able to specify what data you would like to move and where you would like this to be moved to. Um, you know, there's even options as well when you go to edit a rule. Um, there's even options to add additional filters to. So, You'll just see the pane pop up in a moment. Here we go. So you can specify like the folder scope, um, whether you want the 
content um, to be deleted once you've copied this to the new folder. Um, so, for example, this would be useful if, um, you know, there was certain GDPR information in a particular folder um, you wanted to move and you wanted to um, schedule a rule for this to run a regular basis to ensure that your GDPR data is moved to a more secure um, location, somewhere where you know it's locked down as, um, as much as it can be. Let's close this data transport engine tab now. Um, so one thing I haven't touched on yet is the Veronis Dat Alert Suite. Um, so Dat Alert comes with many predefined alert rules to notify you of suspicious behaviour. Um, so these rules, they can either be enabled or disabled depending on um, you know, your security, um, your organisation's security concerns, sorry. Um, in addition to this, it's possible to create your own rules. So when you do create your own rules, so you can see the pane um, has popped up here. You're able to specify, you know, who who you want in that alert to be um, triggered by, uh, where, what, and when um, you want to trigger the alert, and the alert method as well. So how you actually want to receive the alert. So whether that's um, via email or whether you want this to be sent to a sim such as Splunk, for example. So another thing Veronis does is. Um, is able to monitor users' behaviour, and it does this to try and avoid drawing in an overwhelming amount of alert noise. So Veronis employs user behaviour analytics, and it, it actually builds up a profile on users to gain an understanding of what the normal behaviour is, to then be able to detect an alert on any behaviour which is seen as out of the ordinary for them and unusual, and you know could be potentially malicious behaviour. So if I just head back to the um, web interface, so I mentioned we have the um, summary of alerts dashboard. On the dashboard, um, we're able to take a look at some of the events which have been triggered. Um, so if we want to look at the events um, related to a certain user, so you can see here in my top alerted users, I've got a backup service account. Um, so if I click on to view alerts from this user, it's going to bring up all the alerts, um, you know, which this account has triggered. And for each of these, I'm able to um, click on alert details again to um, see even more information about this alert. So the final thing I want to bring up is Veronis Dat Answers. Um, let me just click here. So what we're able to do with Veronis here is easily search across... Um, the entire organization's data stores. Um, I think it's really easy to use and it works a little bit like a search engine, um, but instead of searching across you know, the whole internet, you're able to search across your data in your data stores. Um, so if we click on the search box, we can type in um, you know, somebody's name. So if I just type in Della Johnson, um, you can specify things like a phone number or an email address or even um, you know a unique ID. So this could be useful if you know you're an organisation where everyone has a unique employee number, and it could be uh, more useful for you to search on this instead of um, someone's name or number, for example. Um, if you aren't using to what, wanting to use these fields at all, you can um, just type anything you wish in the search box at the top. So once I've entered my search, um, it's going to bring up any files which contain um, the information which I've searched on. So the results do show you a little bit of information about the file. Um, so you can see here I've got the exact location of the file displayed to me. Um, it's possible to select on certain files as well. You know, it might be that you're only interested in a few of these, um, depending on what you're searching for. And we do have the option to export these date details as well to CSV. Um, as well as this, we also have the option to copy the files. So what this means is to create copies of the files in a um, location of your choice. So you can see here the files will be copied to the legal holds folder. Um, and once you know they're saved there, you're able to go review these files more thoroughly if that's what you require. So that concludes the run through of some of Veronis' um, 
features which ultimately they aim to help businesses with their compliance, data protection and their threat detection and response. Um, if anyone has any questions, please feel free to get in contact with us at Summerford Associates. So you can reach out by emailing us at marketing at summerfordassociates.com. Um, it is worth me just mentioning as well, if you think your organisation could be interested in Veronis, um, it would be worth getting in contact with us and speaking to us about a um, free data risk assessment, which Summerford can work with Veronis to provide for you. Um, Summerford can also provide um, additional support to help your business get the most out of Veronis, um, you know, by offering support days and an in-house support desk too, which can really ensure your organisation is getting the most out of Veronis if, you know, you think this could be a solution um, for you. Thank you very much for listening and hopefully we'll be hearing from some of you soon.